Ladies and gentlemen, come with us as we're shopping around for a brand new Suzuki Fronks. This is not entirely a review, but rather I just accompany the person who is in the market for this car to go see the car, get a feel of what it feels like to be in the car, and also test drive it. There is a couple of things that you must learn from just watching this video, or rather the entire journey of buying this Suzuki Fronks. We drove to a Suzuki dealership in Broadport, and that is where we're going to do the test drive. If you have not seen my review of the Suzuki Fronks, I'll leave the link in the description below. Check it out, it's a very very nice car, trust me. Ladies and gentlemen, we've finally monetized this channel, and as from now, you can actually expect a lot from me. It is always very important to do a test drive of the car you are intending to buy. So this is just to give you a feel of what the car feels like. You will know immediately if you like the car or not. Before I could get the Honda Ballad, I went for a test drive at a different dealership. And after driving the car, few days later I felt like I forgot what the car drives like. I then went for another one, at a different dealership. The reason for all of this was to assure myself that I do like the car, and I finally bought it. By the way, I did not plant the idea of the Suzuki Fronks in this person, but rather they came to me and said they liked the car. All I could do was to advise them that it is a good car, and also explain the disadvantages of the engine that is used in the Suzuki Fronks, of which they then decided that they don't mind at all. The Fronks uses the same engine as the Balino or the Starlet, which is a 1.5 litre natural aspirated petrol engine. The disadvantage about this car is that it is powered by a 1.5 litre natural aspirated engine mated to a 4 speed automatic transmission. However, if you are not interested in this 4 speed automatic transmission, you can get a 5 speed manual transmission. And we were actually shopping for the GL Automatic. Remember, the first thing is not to compromise your budget. If you want to spend 300,000, never stretch. This Fronks you are seeing on the screen is a demo and it was selling for 30,000 more than the original price of the car. Even though the car looked nice, it was not within the budget, so we had to forget about it. Without wasting any time, we took the car for a test drive. Smaller cars, like the Solerios and Espresso's. It used to be in the Swift as well, but like I said, with the new shape Swift that's launching, it's going to be CVT. Alright, then we're just going to go straight all the way. At the stop street, we're going to go straight. Robot, we're going to go left. Okay, alright. Yeah, I need to say that I was not impressed, so I was expecting something more similar. Okay. To this car, but I didn't really wish to have the same so The handling. Okay. Uh, okay, the magnet is powered by. It's so much right here, yeah. yeah. So there's, a, there's this thing, table leg, you can feel the table yes. jumping in. So yeah. It's quite. Body. Yeah, very different drive. So this is obviously, sorry, we, so we're going to go left over here. So this is obviously the naturally aspirated 1.5 engine. Yeah. So it's going to be a different drive, but I think yeah, it's going to be a little bit smoother in terms of the power. It's, it's not a, a sudden kick in of power after the turbo lag. Yeah, I think as you accelerate, you can feel the power gradually getting a yeah. little bit higher. Um, and yeah, with a 1.5 engine, it's very reasonable on fuel. Um, in the front, you're looking at about Call it just over 5 litres per 100 k's depending how you drive. Sorry yeah. sir, the first street we get here now, we're going to go left. Then we're going to be in a quiet street to drive back up. You'll see it's going to be just after the different colour palisades over here. It's like a little crash over here, right over here. Left over here, that's it. Right, so then yeah, we're going to be in a quiet street. So, um, I don't know if you guys maybe want to swap, so yeah, but uh, it's your, it's your choice. Even the engine noise is different. 
one. Yeah. So the only thing you'll hear from the back here, I don't know, the backing plates that they put on is, it's kind of loose when they fit it, the backing plate that holds the number plate. So normally what we do if we sell a car, we just put a little bit of double-sided tape underneath yeah. it, just to stop it from, yeah, yeah, just so it doesn't um, hit the back all the time, which is what you can hear right now. Straight all the way, yeah. We're going to go straight until we get to a T-junction. At the T-junction, we're going to go left. But I'll tell you when we get there. But like you say, the engine is very soft. It's a little bit difficult here now because you're not going to hear too much road noise because we're not going too fast like you would on the highway. But even on the highway, you'll see the road noise is really not bad at all. Now we came back from just driving the car and we are impressed. This is the interior of the car for those whom the interior matters the most. The only downside about this car is the 4-speed automatic transmission. That is the only thing. As for the rest, it is value for money. There is actually more advantages of driving this car. Number one, it is fuel efficient. Two, Suzuki is a reliable brand. Number three, it is also cheap to maintain a Suzuki. There is more cars in this segment. You will end up being confused on which one to buy. If I had an option between the Kaiga, Magnite and the Suzuki Frongs, I will definitely take the Frongs. For many reasons. A thousand of them. A brand new Suzuki Frongs GL Auto will cost you 317,900 rands. The plan on this one is to buy it cash. Of course, negotiations will take place, and so far the dealership offers a discount of 7,500 rands. Remember, the budget is actually not more than 300,000, so now the question is, will we manage to achieve this? Now, I do not have an answer, but let's wait for part 2 and see what happens. Please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for part 2.